What up gang, Matt here with another Business Class 101. Now if you're older than five years old, you're gonna say, Matt, I can relate to this. You find yourself just sometimes in a rut, whether it's trying to get healthy and lose weight, whether it's trying to find a job, which I always say was the most stressful time of my life, going to years without a job after college. So if you're going through that, I'm praying for you, it's tough. But let's just say you're trying to make some kind of change, you're in this just kind of funk, that you can't get yourself motivated, and you just, like I said, in just what the word says, a rut. I'm going to give you four things to make sure you're doing. And some of y'all are going to say, Matt, this changed my life. So write this down. The first thing you're going to do, and you're going to know what I'm going to say, is pray. Pray and ask God for wisdom, for direction. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. There's nothing more important you can do with your time, more productive, than get on your knees and just saying, God, here I am, help me out. There's something about when you get the creator of everything on your side that it gives you peace and direction that nothing else can give. So make sure you don't skip through this step. Oh, uh, whatever, no, do it. Pray and just say, God, give me wisdom, give me direction, the first step. The second one, and this is what a lot of people don't under, ever understand, is gonna be encourage others. You say, well, man, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm the one in a rut. Why am I gonna go encourage others? That's the first step. Jesus said, I didn't come to serve, but I didn't come to be served, but to serve. There's something about another verse in the Bible says, he who refreshes others is refreshed himself. And I've, I've taught myself to do this. Whenever you go out and you try to be a blessing, I don't know how it happens, the blessing turns around and comes to you. So when you're in a rut, go help someone else out. Again, culture doesn't teach that. It's like focus on yourself, meditate, get in that right state of mind. But I'm telling you, pray and ask God for direction. And then encourage someone else. Try to be a blessing to someone else. And you'll just see the wheels start turning. Your confidence starting getting better. And you'll just say, okay. Because you will be, just as the Bible verse said, trust me, I've seen it a million times. Just when you try to be a blessing to others, the blessings are going to come back and you're going to be refreshed yourself. The third one is going to be figure out, figure out action step number one. This is key. Figure out what is the first little action step. I need to first go to the grocery store. I need to first maybe just write out my diet plan and, and just say, okay, this is what I need to be eating. Or this is the first, I got to write out my workout. Or this is the, the three places I've got to start. Or the three people I have to call when I'm looking for this job. Or this is the, the two people I need to ask for help with. Or whatever it is. Look at your, whatever situation you're kind of in a rut in. Say, what is the first action step I should take to get myself at least pointed in the right direction to get out of this rut. And then the fourth and final step is take that step. Guys, you'll never get anywhere standing on the shore until you step out into the water and try to make it happen. And, and, and that's what faith is all about. You don't have all the answers. You don't know where this next step's going to lead. The Bible says it's a, his word is a lamp unto our feet and a light into our path. Faith is just taking one step at a It's going up a staircase when it's completely dark. You're in that fog. And you're taking one step and saying, I don't know what the next step's going to be. But I'm going to take one more step, one more step, and one more step. And what you'll find as you just take each step, more and more opportunities will start. Your mind will start getting refreshed. You'll start getting confident. You'll start feeling good. You'll meet connections. You'll start making relationships. And next thing you know, you'll get to a spot and turn around and say, I don't know how I got here, but I'm so glad I did. So are you in a rut today? Pray about it. Go encourage others. Figure out what the first action step is and take that first step and get to moving and get ready for that blessed life. Because guys, it's out there. We all can help each other. Let's encourage one another and just go out there and be a blessing and good things are to follow. Until next week, Business Class 101, I'm out.